What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Snapseed Fundamental. This is a series of video to explain how to use Snapseed, a free photo editing app to edit your photo with your mobile. Today we are looking at an interesting editing feature that is how to remove an object. Let's get started. The first image was taken at a roadside store. Looks good but there's some rubbish at the bottom. It can be easily removed with Snapseed. Now I find the image and open up in Snapseed. It takes a while to open up this old fashioned street food image. Okay, here it is. So now click the pencil icon and choose Healing Tool. When you zoom in, you see there's a piece of paper at the corner. To remove it, just draw on the screen to cover the piece of paper. Remove your hand and it magically disappear. That's easy, right? Zoom out, click the tick button. Click done. Now you have removed the object that you don't want to appear on your image. Now let's remove a larger object with the same tool and see whether it works. Just like before, we choose the healing tool. Zoom in and start to draw on the object that I want to remove. It does work but the finishing is quite ugly. Therefore, healing tool is best to use to remove small objects, but probably not the best way to remove the large one. The result is better if you use another tool called double exposure tool to remove the objects. In this method, we will pick one of the suitable part of the image to cover up the object. So open up the selection box, click double exposure. Click the Add Image icon. To add a second copy of the same image to Snapseed. This is because we want to use part of the second image to cover the object. Now it looks the same as before, but in fact, there are two copies of the same image stacked up together on top of the other. If you are gliding your finger on the screen, you are moving the second image. The original image is not moving. So now I move the second image so that the water of the second image is now covered the man and the boat of the first image that I want to remove. Now tap the transparency icon on the right. If you glide to the left, the second image is totally transparent and it disappears. If you glide to the right, the second image is no longer transparent and it is 100% solid. The original image is now totally black but it doesn't matter, don't worry. Confirm by clicking the tick button. Click edit stack. View edits. Choose Double Exposure and then click the center icon. What you see now is still the original image with the object that you want to remove. Now make sure the Double Exposure is now at 100%. You can adjust it by using the up and down arrows. Zoom into the object. Draw on the object that you want to remove. By doing so, you are applying the seawater part of the second image that you have chosen. Put it on top of the object that you want to remove to cover it up. Now mostly you still see the original image. With a little portion of the second image. There's the seawater of the second image that you have chosen. Cover right on top of the man and the boat. Since we are using part of the C of the second image, the color can be slightly different. 
you can make some adjustment to smoothen the color. If double exposure is at 100%, you are seeing the second image totally. If you set it at zero, then your original one will appear fully. Play around the setting to smoothen out the differences. Before we save the image, we can do a little more adjustment. This can be done by using the brush tool. You can refer to another videos about brush tool which I will leave the link below. This time I will choose the dodge and burn option. You can darken certain part by setting the dodge and burn to negative or brighten up certain parts by setting it at positive. Once you are satisfied with the result, click the tick button. Then click done to save the image. This is before and after. The object is gone. That's how to remove an object by using Snapseed. The easiest way to remove a small object is by using Healing Tool. It is far better to use the Double Exposure Tool if the object is big. There are other videos in this Snapseed Fundamental Series, and I've included a link to other videos in the description below. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.